Hello, uh, my name is Uni Brian. Today I'm going to do a playthrough of Dice Throne Adventures on Tabletop Simulator. I've um, been chatting with the, a guy who's been working on the mod. Um, this is mostly just a debugging playthrough. I don't have a ton of experience with the game, um, but I'm hoping to change that, so I thought I would just record this and yeah, go through it and see if it gets any traction. See if you guys can point out anything I've done wrong or more optimal play. So uh, let's start. Oh, I'm not able to distribute the mod uh, because I don't. It's not mine. Um, it won't be available on the workshop because it will get uh, taken down. There's other ways to get it, um, which I cannot share at the moment, uh, but when I'm allowed, I will update the video description with a link on where and how to get this mod. Um, so for now, unfortunately, I'm just going to tease you with it uh, in this playthrough. So um, this is the default load in. All of these are your adventures or your scenarios. They'll all be pre-shuffled. You should have seen that happen when it loaded. Minion cards, same thing, they get shuffled. Difficulty picker. I said before, I am not very seasoned with the game. <clears throat> with the game. I'm gonna go normal. Um, then down here, the hero picker. We do have the Marvel heroes added. Um, I'm not sure if any, you know, which ones are better than others. Um, so we'll go with the Scarlet Witch. Okay thinking and it's done okay good that is what we're looking for so uh, once you pick a difficulty and a hero you are able to pick a scenario if you tried to flip this before you've done those two things it will not uh, let you flip this card so that's actually where the magic happens too this is uh, just phenomenal work that this guy has done so when you flip this card it auto builds everything for you, places your standee at the start, and uh, you're just you're just ready to go. So, um, I think what I'll try to do is unlock some of these easier rooms before I go for that blue room. Oh, uh, it doesn't grab the salves for you. You need to do that manually. Uh, over here is. An infinite bag for should be every status um, rules which we don't oh well probably will need actually but that's uh, not right now I do want to open this one to the statuses because I do not know them all yet so I'll leave that there ready to go and we'll go to a first room go this way flip that so we gain a gold and active player discards a positive status effect and receives two damage that's unblockable well that's unfortunate sorry Scarlet Witch two damage uh, it looks like that gold did not auto script so we'll add the gold and then we need to fight a green monster and this monster deck would have auto shuffled, so I'm not going to bother. But if you wanted to, you just push R or right click and uh, shuffle. Same sort of magic happens with these. Place it on the table. Flip. Oh, it has first strike. Boo. So, 9 HP, 2 CP. This mod's auto pulling in the counters for you, setting them. Since this is a first strike monster, it's grabbed a first strike token. And uh, this thing wants to get uh, roll straights. So I guess. Oh, you know what I haven't done is um, drawn my starting hand. So let me do that. See if any of these cards are relevant. I believe I start with four cards. Okay. Discard two probably probability manipulation tokens to change the value of one dice. Roll one dice. And gain the half a CP and reroll.
roll some dice. Okay. So this enemy wants to ghost with uh, roll straights, so I hit this button, or you could manually roll the dice, but the scripting in this is brilliant. So we'll roll the dice, do the first re-roll, and it's just, it knows what to keep and what not to keep, and they've done it. Um, I don't, let's see, two, three, so they don't have a large hit, so we'll do the last re-roll, and they didn't get it, two, three, four, five, so they've got a small straight which is five defendable damage. Scarlet Witch gets to roll quite a bit of dice for that. So we'll roll for defense. I didn't actually even look to see what she does. I should do that. Okay. Um, two of whatever that is. On two of those, gain a crackle. I believe I got two of those, so we'll gain a crackle. Uh, probability manipulation, no. I only have one of that. And then two M's deal four unblockable. I don't mind that. Um, what does crackle do? If a player concludes their offensive roll with an attack, they may spend this token. If they spent, add one damage per positive or negative status effect on the hero board, excluding the crackle token that was just spent. Up to a maximum of three damage, only two crackle tokens may be spent per turn with a stack limit of three. All right. So, interesting. She doesn't have a lot of... Well, I guess I should read what the rest of this does. Oh, those are called warps. All right. Um, okay, so I'm taking how much? Five, I think. Yeah, we take five. We do four undefendable. Okay, now it's our turn. So we get a CP card. Oh, cool an upgrade already. Um, I always pretty much seems that you play Vegas Baby. Roll a dice, half the value rounded up, and CP. Let's see what we get. Four. Half of four is two. Up to five. Nice. So we probably play Hex Bolt out. Upgrade that. Uh, take two away. I don't know what most of her stuff does. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, Alright, 3 CP. Don't have any of those right now. Cool. Well, let's roll. Let's see what we get. Uh, okay, that's all of the time warps, I think that was called. Or just warp. One, and I have a four of a kind. Wild. Inflict reality warp. Force your opponent to use one of my dice. If the inflicted player with this token, when they begin their offensive roll phase, they must remove it and use one of Scarlet Witch's dice in place of their own. I guess that would make it harder for them to get uh, symbols. Okay. Cool. Reality warp for you. <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, yeah, we're doing uh, nine defendable damage. So we'll do the defense roll here. And they take the nine. So they're dead. And then this is cool. So once you've reduced the HP counter to zero, uh, you flip the card. And um, we'll gain the loot, that green loot. So you need to roll loot dice, which is here. Roll the six. We'll take the loot. We'll gain a CP. The if you uh, the scripting is all there, but if you wanted to look, 
it's over here. So we rolled a six on a green, one CP. And that's the first room dead. Um, I'll delete this. I believe these are just all infinite. Yeah. Don't need that anymore. Cool. So we've got an upgrade. Um, hmm. I guess we'll go for this room. Okay, we gain a CP right away. Remove all status effects from a chosen hero who has at least one, if possible. So we get the CP. We remove the crackle. Okay. Too bad we don't have any negative ones. Um, okay, let's fight. We get another green monster. Flip. And we have... Uh... An Ogren warrior who wants to roll straights and can knock us down. Okay, so start of the turn, gain a CP, gain a card, double up, draw two cards. Not bad. Do I want to use that right away? Maybe. I kind of have CP and nothing to do with it. I won't be at the hand limit of six. So we'll draw two. See if we get something better. Ooh. This is a main phase. Roll a dice. Conjure. Probability. Any other outcome, draw one. It's free. I like it. Roll this dice. Roll the one, which was not the M. So we'll draw a card. That was free. Okay. Okay. Change the value of any one dice. I don't know if you can use roll phase cards on. I guess not, because it's the in the main phase, and that specifically says on the roll phase. I'm gonna move these over here. It's not my role, just moving, so we'll start fighting. Six, six, six crowns is what they're saying that is. Okay, uh, we have Bewit. Sorry for that cut. Um, we're gonna do Bewitch, I believe, before I had to step away for a little bit. So, gain Conjure, and deal 9 damage. Conjure. Which does what? When a chosen player's positive status effect, or... Oh, gain a chosen player's positive status effect, or inflict reality warp. Once per turn, a player with this token may spend it during their main phase to gain a positive status effect from another player any opposing player may defend and fake reality warp. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. So that's nine damage. Defendable. And they have 11. I don't believe any of my cards are going to help. Do more damage, I mean. Defense roll. Okay, on this, I take two undefendable damage. And then we will prevent one damage. Okay, two damage is prevented from these dice. So let me take the two. And then he, we did nine, he's preventing two. So he's down to seven, or he takes seven. Five, six, seven. Down to four. All right. Um, calendar. I don't know if it's worth warping this guy or not. Again, newer to the game, so I don't really know strategy. Um, I do think I have a second main phase, though. Oh, I don't have the turn card here. I'm pretty sure there's a second main phase, from what I recall during their main phase, and I can use this to inflict reality warp. Let's do it. 
We'll reality warp this guy. Zoom out so I can find him. There we are. And then I'm sure I have to lose this. That'd be too strong otherwise. Um, okay, so he will roll with one of the Scarlet Witch dice, which is cool. So I won't use... Oh, it's so much larger. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, that's not that good, because he's just looking for straights. So I changed my mind. I will undo this. Keep the conjure. Because he's looking for straights, so having one of my dice really is inconsequential. Number's a number. Unless there's something I'm missing. So let's start his attack. A lot of fours. First reroll. Mini fours. One, two, three, four, five. How terrible for me. Seven damage, which is defendable, and inflict a knockdown. Now, I'm not sure how the resolving works. If I do the four undefendable, I'm gonna need a check, I guess. Um, well, let's see what happens. So let's roll these boys. I do roll five. Okay. So I got two warps, which does something. I gain a crackle. And then, what does that do? Oh, okay, that minus more damage. Uh, I could make another crown, probably. Change the value of a dice. This isn't a roll phase, is it? I guess I can't use any of these. I could use that, though, to get rid of the knockdown. Ah, oh, no, because it's too CP to get rid of knockdown either way. Okay, so I gain the crackle. And on two of these... Which I can't get to. Okay. Unfortunate. So, he's knocking me down, and I'm taking seven. That sucks. I need to zoom out. Okay. Oh, seven. Uh, that takes us down to 19. All right, that's not, not great, not great. Gain a CP, gain a card. Almost at the hand limit. Tip it is decent. Um, two manipulations to change the value of a dice. I haven't gained any of those yet. change the value of any one dice. I guess that method lets you decide what you want, where otherwise you just change it by... I see, yeah. Okay, um, so firstly, let's pay to get rid of that. So that's, I think that's how that works. Let me double check so I don't get yelled at. <clears throat> yeah, it's been 2 CP. Get closer there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's start fighting. Let's see what we get. Okay, four, five, three, four, five. That's an inside straight. Could do something with that. I have two of the chaos, which does kind of stuff. I almost have this. Deal six damage. Oh my god, this. She does a lot of weird stuff. Gain conjure and deal two pure damage. I already have a conjure. It's a stack limit of. Oh, I can't tell. I need to unlock that. Move it. It's a stack of one. Okay. Um. <laughs> what do my straights do? Gain a reality warp, deal nine. Real a lot of reality warping. Three, four, five. Probability manipulator. 
Uh, I'm going to go for the small straight. I need a 6 or a 2. Shit. Alright, let's try again. Well, that's 3. 5 damage. Does he do any mitigate? He does mitigate. Alright, let's keep going. Let's try again. Maybe use a card. Oh, there's the 2. Okay. So, 2, 3, 4, 5. Small straight. Um, we'll do that. We'll gain the probability of manipulation. And then... I think we'll just swing. Right? Nothing else really needs done. Swing for seven. I shouldn't need to use any of my chippies. So, defense roll. He's gonna hit me for two and block two. But he does die. So that's good. I'll take my two. Jeez, Scarlet Witch is getting her ass kicked. And he's dead. Okay, so let's roll for loot. Roll a 17. Three gold. Alright. These early rooms kind of brutal. Even... Oh, getting over there. I should try to get this, I guess. So they salves heal more. Right now on a they're only gonna heal three. And then plus one down there at the bottom you see plus one per portal shard collected. I haven't collected any yet. So I think I would like to try to collect one. We've done it. And then we gain two gold right off the rip for that card. And then fight our first blue enemy of this Please be not bad. He poisons you. Okay. Start our turn over the hand limit. Additional roll during the defensive roll. Tip it. I'm not sure at which point I have to be under the hand limit. I assume it's at the end of my turn, so I'm going to operate like that. And if that's wrong, I apologize. Um, this is worth reality warping him, I th think. So we'll we'll cash in a conjure for the reality warp. He actually he's using symbols, so if he has one less of his own dice, that's better for me to try to make him not get there. So we'll do that. Crackle. Maximum of three. Excluding. So I can pop that to deal one extra damage. Could become relevant. Um, Alright. Let's roll. Four death. Ooh. Two sixes. Sixes are usually good. Conjure. And deal nine damage. I need six six one. What else is good? Jinx seems like a good skill. Uh six five four. I think I'm gonna keep the sixes. And then Pure chaos. Inflict reality warp. I already did. Deal six undefendable. How much does it have? Twelve. That's no good right now. Hmm. That was tricky. Gain a conjure. I'm not close to jinx, and those are sixes. Sixes seem to be the best. Let's try to go for Bewitch, because I don't have Conjure. She seems to want statuses, so I could just do a tip it and get there. Change the value of any one dice. I can also do that, so I'm good either way. So let's just try to get it without spending a card. We did not get there. We did not get there. That's good, so I, I need to just use a card anyway. 
So I will use so wild, change the value of any dice for two. And we'll make that a six. And put that there. And that gives us Bewitch. So nine defendable damage and gain conjure. Cool. Now if I have cash in crackle, I deal two extra. Um, so let's defense roll. Oh wait. I assume even if he had one of my dice, he would use the four that belonged to him. So on red inflict poison, of course he hits one. Um, that sucks. But the nice thing is about this mod though, usually if a creature does a thing, the bag is right here, so you can just drag the token out. Per positive or negative status effect. Oh, oh baby. Now it's maxed. Alright, um, so he he makes his poison. We're doing nine defendable damage to him. Uh, oh, we already did the defense roll. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve kills, and I'll cash in that crackle for that. Just so this is done, because I'm bleeding HP in a hurry here. So, crackle's gone. Um, I ended it with an attack, and then I will add one damage per positive or negative on the thing. Up to three. Okay. So yeah, three more damage. So we did nine. He mitigated none. Plus three is 12. He is dead. One shot. That was a waste of that, but you don't know how it's going to shake out, I guess. Uh, so flip him. He's dead. We don't need that. Delete that. And let's roll for loot. Big money. We rolled an 18. We get a card. Can't, I could peek at this, but it's against the spirit of the game, so uh, I won't. <laughs> okay, cool. That wasn't too bad. Um, I need to try to get these other shards again for the just the, the healing. Let's go here then. Ah, shit. Okay, gain um, a two, an uh, blue loot, uh, which. I don't see that he's got that scripted working, so um, let's see if that works thusly. If I throw this down here, it does. So well done. Okay. Uh, common loot, so that's two loot we'll get to identify at the end if we live. Um, okay, so we got that. Spawn a blue boy, and he's going first. That sucks. He already was going to go first no matter what, so that's not too bad, I guess. Arcane Vibra. 14 health and 3 CP. I hate you. Okay. Um, kill me. Okay, reroll. Second reroll. Doesn't get what they're looking for exactly. Or no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay. Uh, we got two yellows and two whites. So five defendable. Uh, I'll put all my dice over here. Let's see what we do. Two of the... Oh, that's the, that's the good one. We swing back for four. And then that's it. So we're taking five, down to 12. But we do hit four, four. So we'll just do it that way. That's down to 10. Okay. Our turn, gain the CP, gain a card. Draw three, I definitely don't need that right now anyway. Um. Re roll two dice. I, I, I'm not sure how I generate more statuses with her. 
Okay, um, how much potential damage does this thing do? Six. Oh, at the start of your turn, gain a chaos. Whoops, sorry. So that, that they have one chaos. If you have three chaos, spend them to heal an amount equal to the damage dealt. Okay. All right. All right, let's see what happens. Um, let's fight. Roll the dice. See what what we get. Two of those, two of those. That's Jinx. Just just there it is, Jinx. Oh shit, I'm poisoned. Uh that's I think I take a damage at the start of my turn. Right? Player affected with this token is one damage during their upkeep phase. Persistent. Um, I think instead of taking that damage, because I don't have a crackle to take advantage of it, I will use this. Um, I'll use bye bye and get rid of it. Um, so we'll just pretend I had done that in the upkeep phase. I think I can. That's a whenever I want card. Um, okay, so Jinx. Six defendable damage and roll two. So. Jesus. Um. Let's move them here. Roll two dice. We got a four and a two. Oh, it looks at symbols. On that, add two damage. On that, gain probability manipulation. Okay. We're at the stack limit of that now. Cool. Um, reality warp. Okay. That's a good... That seems good. So we're adding two damage. So we're doing uh, eight defendable. Um, let's give it a go. Okay. They get steal one health per thing rolled. So we'll just pretend that we do six damage and then I'll take the hit. Um, they're down to four. And I lose two. Uh, this is bad. Increase or decrease the die by value of one. I might have to do some of these in like roll phase action. I think I could probably use these against that thing's offensive roll. Um okay. Alright. Okay, let's uh let's go get punched. New roll. What do they want? I don't know. Just push the button. They've done it. Okay, at the start of your turn, gain a chaos. So they have two chaos now. Deal six defendable. Maybe we'll hit the two sixes and uh, smack that guy for four. Let's defend. Roll. Oh, we hit it. See now this comes into question what when what's the resolving order? This thing has first strike, so I have to assume it would go first. But I do want to look, so forgive me and bear with me. I'm gonna put this over here. Oh wait, you know what? First strike is probably well, hmm. I do wanna look. I don't wanna do it wrong, and I don't wanna take this damage if I don't have to. Defending. I probably it's not in my favor. The defense ability is not activated if the incoming is undefendable. Okay, these dice are only rolled a single time. I know that. Hero leaflet, removing statuses, hero cards, companions. Yep, yep, yep card resolving text roll on then or steal hero upgrades damage type 
when 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 do things resolve okay main phase offensive phase any player can use roll actions during an all offense defense the active player's offensive roll results in attack the defender can begin the defensive roll phase Resolve any effects from the offensive roll that require a target and are not damage related. If the offensive ability results in an attack and that attack's damage type is defendable, the defender may defend. Defender does the roll attempt. The defender resolves all non-damage. Finally, all damage prevention and healing. Well, that's, still, that's not helpful. Oh, are applied simultaneously. It says it right there. Okay. Shit. I was hoping I didn't have to take it. Okay, so uh, how much do they punch me for? Six. I'm down to four. I need to heal. And they need to die. So they do. Which is good. Oops. Flip the card. Get rid of those, we don't need them. Alright, let's see what this got for us. Healing, maybe? Two, one CP. Alright, when can I use a salve? Move and explore, spend salve, move. Okay, I can do it right now. How many do I have? Have I gotten any more? Not yet. Shit. Alright, uh, it's gonna only heal me for four. But I don't want to walk into that fight with just four. So we'll do that. I don't know where that just went. Oh, I heard it. There it is. It's flying. We'll delete that. And heal up to f eight. This is not going great. Again, I'm probably not playing um, perfectly. Anything close to it. Spawn a guy or roll a dice on one to three. Spawn a blue. I'll just fight the green man. The money's tempting, but I'm in such a bad spot. The drag lackey. Five undefendable. Great. I should have fought the fucking blue one. I can get hit once, and then I'm on death's door. All right, let's do it. CP card. When do I get like Scarlet Witch cards? There's not a lot of thematic cards. I've got tw I still have 20 cards left. All right, let's see what we get. I have two time manipulations and a conjure. Could be useful. When can I do the conjure? I guess I can do it whenever, before they start their offense. Two sixes. I do, is that the one card I can change two of the dice to two of my dice or something? Change the value of any one dice. Tip it, that's two of them to six. I'm thinking about trying to get there. How does the time manipulator work? Even number up or down. It takes to five. Shit. I can get that to a six. I can use that. And get that to a six. And I can use three cards and I can pop an ultimate. Uh one of them has to be tip it. Do I do that now just to have it safe? To kill him in one turn? I think I do. Just to be safe. Tip it. Spent. We'll tip this to six. We're gonna get the ultimate. 
one way or the other. And hopefully we get it for cheaper. One more. Fuck me. Alright. So we need to spend... We need to use samesies. And we have to use... Uh, uh, this chaos manipulation. So chaos manipulation will go first. We have to use both of these... Probability manipulators. Change this to a six. And then same z's. Change the value of one of my dice to be equal to another. Well. Shit, did I spend a CP? I think I I think I did. If I didn't, I meant to. Okay, so we're doing the ultimate. Seal your fate. Gain conjure reality, which I already have. I could spend it and put the guy into uh, reality warp, but he's gonna die anyway. Um, gain conjure, gain prob this probability manipulation, inflict that, and deal 12 undefendable. Dice may be altered, but he can't because he's not anything special. But I am afraid of the 5 undefendable. They always seem to hit those abilities, so uh, he's dead. Uh, let's loot. Let's use some cards, which I haven't been doing. 19. Nice. I mean, it's common, but still. Oh, I got a salve for that, too. Nice. Put that down there. Still don't heal for shit, but... Okay, let's try to risk it. Find another room so the salve heals more. You can play an ability upgrade from your hand that costs 2 CP or less for free. Well, I don't have jack shit in my hand. Uh, that's an ability. So let's fight the boy. Yeah, I don't. Okay, um, what's this guy? Goblin Enhance Enchanter. He wants that stuff. So he would be a good one to Reality Warp. Which I probably do. Still, don't, I don't have any Crackles, so... I will cash... Oh wait, let me, let me do my turn. So this, this... Ooh! Okay. We we'll use that. Upgrade Jinx. Um, I do want to dump the Conjure and Reality Warp him. Here. Cool. Uh, Alright. Roll these babies. Okay, one, five, five, two, nothing good. What did Jinx change? Deal six damage and roll two, add two times damage. Oh, for each one instead of just two. Oh, Jinx gets quite a bit better. Okay, how close am I to hitting it? I need like fours. I have a probability manipulator. But it doesn't help. What are the odds of getting it? Not awful, not great. Let's try another roll. Let's see if we just get lucky. Fuck my ass. Okay, well, damage is good. One, 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 two, two. Deal nine. I already reality warped him, so I don't need to care about the four of kinds. So this is going to be just deal nine defendable. Do that. Defense roll. Suck. One undefendable and poison. Great going well. Seven. Shit, I didn't. I... Okay, seven. All right. Uh, but he took nine. So that's good. He's on one. Is there any way I could get one more damage? No. Damn it. Yeah. No. All right. Um, okay, he's on one.
Now, he is the reality warped, so he rolls one of my dice. I'm not even going to put it over there, because he's a symbol boy. So none of my dice are going to have the symbols he wants, so it's just a waste of time. So he's rolling one less dice, basically. Alright. There's one reroll. He's looking for... Okay, he wants yellows. He rolled three sixes. I've never rolled three sixes in my life. Nope. And of fucking course he did. Alright, four undefendable, and I randomly discard. Wonderful. Down to three. Okay, for that random discard, what we're going to do is flip our hand, put it here, group it, shuffle it, take the top card, discard it. Oh, wait. You know what? Before all that happens, I had a doorknob thought. Um, I'm going to try to fuck him. Just because I don't want to take that damage. Did I already did I already apply it? Yeah, I must have because I'm I would be dead otherwise. Uh, I want a chosen player may perform. No, okay, I can't fuck him. All right, I believe this is the one that I would have lost. So we'll do that. I think I'm dead. When can I heal? Can I heal right now? Because the damage is simul, and I don't think that I applied it yet. Uh... You may choose to spend salves to heal on your team's... Health dial, spend multiple salves, may not be spent to revive during a fallen. Okay. When can I spend it? Spend salve. Before you begin battling minions, you can choose to spend salve. See spending salves on page 7. Well, if it's before, I'm fucking fucked. You can choose to spend any number of salves to heal yourself for each salve spent, heal amount. You salves may only be used before you move, before a battle begins, even if the minion has first strike, before your upkeep phase. Shit. I think I'm dead. He also will simultaneously die. So I'll have to redo this first scenario, which is embarrassing. Um, Four undefendable, I discard a rando. I don't see a way out of this. What does this do? Change of your dice. I can't do that. Eh. Uh, well, let's roll the defense roll and just see what happens. Yep, come on, roll. We get two, or that that kills him, and I gain crackle. Probability, manipulation, and conjure. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to die, but so will he. So I'm dead. Um... He is dead. That is gone. Delete that. Now I forget what happens on death. And I, I think I get to see a shop. But I don't know if the treasure that I've got I get. Well the scripting should know, but um Okay, recording a loss. When your team is defeated, you will repeat the scenario. You get extra three salves. Permanently upgrade loot card scenario conclusion. So maybe I don't see the shop actually. I'm just damn it, that sucks. Okay, well, I am dead. Rip score sheet. So I think if I flip this, it should record the loss. It should put a negative ten here, and then I should get um I have two salves, which sucks. I could have spent them, but I wasn't sure when I could. It's my own fault for not reading. So I should start it again with five. Uh, unfortunately, I won't get any, like, loot. 
cards or anything, but um, let's let's see how the death death works. So let's flip this for death. Oh, it does open the shop. Neat. Um, how much money do I have? Okay, money is supposed to round up to the nearest five. So I have twenty five. All right. I believe every card I got was common. Gain four money. Uh, draw two cards. Six it for free. Trench coat. When selling a card, gain two CP. Uh, this doesn't seem the worst. Let's see. Um, let's identify some stuff. Bye bye. Bye bye was not the worst. Let's identify this one. Draw one. Hero gains a plus three damage. Is that good? I think it would have been. So that's two CP though, but it's a pretty strong card. Um, I could keep these two. They're permanently in the deck for the rest of this run. I have to restart it. Um, check my deck. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Look, I did have more upgrades, I just didn't draw into them, unfortunately. Um, I'm trying to find the one I played, and I want to see if that's a if that's an upgrade to it, or if that's in addition, another way to remove a status. Not that, not that, not that, no, no. None of these, not that. That wasn't it. Okay, I have no idea what card I played earlier in the game to uh, remove a status. Um, we'll just keep those, and then I can't buy anything else. I'm curious, I'm going to take a peek at what this would have been. Okay, I'm glad I didn't really go for that. Yeah, I don't think it's in the spirit of the game, but I wanted to know, so sue me. Close the shop, and I have two salves. I'm curious. I don't know that there's a scripting spot where those should sit, where um, the game was going to know. So let's close the store. Campaign sheet was updated. With, it should have been a negative 10, and it was. Oh, I somehow knows. That's correct. So I get plus three salves. Uh, okay, cool. I had two, three more. All right. Um. Well, that's um. Uh... Oh shit! I didn't resolve this loot. Oh well. I what I think what I should have done is finished him off, rolled the loot dice. Um, would have had possibly another card to work with, but the common loot table is uh, it's not often cards. It's usually you know. Buff, CP, we'll draw a card, heal, money. So 3 out of 20 chance. I'll roll the dice for fun, I suppose. Let's see what we would have hit if I did it right. A 4. So that would have just been that. No, no bueno on a death. Cool. Um, I will be back for a second attempt at a... Level 1 dungeon. How embarrassing. I'm not even sure how to reset this either. Oh, it all reset except this one because I'm a dummy. So flip him. Oh, no, it didn't. They're all still there. All right, I'll dump that. Uh, I'll have to read the rules and see if these get shuffled back in. I would kind of guess they do. And then this goes back and we shuffle. Or maybe you just retry the same one. I'll read the rules and then I'll come back with a second attempt at um, <laughs> Scenario 1 with the Scarlet Witch. Um, again, if anybody watches this, uh, let me know what you think. 
um, anything I could have done better, um, anything I did wrong, I'm new to the game. So any any helpful, constructive criticism is welcome. Thanks for checking me out. I will see you guys in the next one.